Well, my name is Winthrop Cardi, and I am the executive director of the Melton Foundation, and we are now hosting an incredible conference called the Global Citizenship Conference uh, that's convened people from around the world to uh, understand and act upon global citizenship as a way to address our global challenges. What is your background? Well, it's a long story. I'm 55 years old, so I've got a little traction by now. Um, my background is both well, personally and, and uh, I, I grew, even though I grew up mostly in Washington, D.C., uh, my parents were journalists in Latin America and I was born in Colombia and I spent the first part of my life uh, there uh, and returned back to the Spanish-speaking world both in Latin America, actually also Brazil and Portuguese uh, and Spain as well uh, for most of my, my life. And, Came back and living, I'm now living in Boston area uh, after a couple of years in Argentina. And your professional career? What yeah. did you study? What okay, so under, I, I studied political science, uh, later graduate school in education with a focus on technology, the you, how to leverage technology for improving education in the developing world. So how do you bring all this together at, as an MD for Melton Foundation? Sure, yeah. It, it actually comes together nicely because another part of my professional life was working in cultural exchanges. Uh, and so I worked for a number of years with Fulbright programs and with other programs that bring people from one place to another. It's the idea that uh, they both develop a sensibility in, uh, about other cultures and other realities, but then also mixed in with leadership development and professional development. So combining that with what I was uh, doing uh, with technology and education and development, the Melton Foundation really combines both those. We use technology a lot. Uh, we're a global community of 450 Melton Fellows. We year-round are conducting programs online and then we convene fellows in Become programs face-to-face -face, uh, at least once a year fellows get together uh, well not all of them but the undergraduate fellows uh, at least once a year and many of the older fellows uh, often uh, get together workshops projects uh, and so the, the, the combination of, the, of those two elements, the exchanges and the technology for development um, come together perfectly. And then of course the political science background, it's uh, our goal is the, to promote global citizenship, meaning right now in our world uh, we urgently need people, particularly leaders, to understand the global dimension of the decisions and policies uh, and practices that we have. Um, and we're not there yet. And so we believe that uh, global citizenship is a framework uh, for developing that practice. What does global citizen mean for you? How would you describe global citizen and speak up with me? Okay. For me, global, to be a global citizen means that you understand our interconnectedness on a global scale, uh, specifically local, right down to your neighborhood, your community, up to what's happening on the other side of the world and all the all that occurs and flows, whether it's uh, global s supply chain management or uh, policies uh, having to do with cap and trade and uh, to curb uh, climate change um, and, and those have to happen on all those different scales so a global citizen is someone who understands that uh, and then puts into practice uh, changes in their consumer behavior and how they vote how they advocate uh, how they conduct business uh, and then in leadership positions, uh, what kinds of policies they, they promote, public policies, what kind of high-level business uh, decisions they're making uh, that offset the negative consequences of this globalized world and, uh, and the 
challenges that we face with a growing population and resource scarcities. Um, so leadership to implement new policies and practices uh, that uh, address those challenges. We have great opportunities, so a global citizen understands the opportunities that we face in this situation to shrink and also understands the huge challenges and needs to be able to convince others of that as well. It, it feels a lot when you hear all this, it feels a lot like a Western concept. Yeah, that's a great That's correct, and so the Melton Foundation specifically were made up of people from China, India, Germany, Chile, and the United States. And we had these discussions from those multiple viewpoints, and I'm a Westerner, so yeah, I, I fully acknowledge that I have my cultural baggage, my uh, shaped by the countries where I grew up and don't include any Western, any Eastern, Asian uh, countries. So I, I try to be a careful listener uh, and take other viewpoints into account. Uh, so yes, and I, I would actually add uh, another dimension. It's both Western, uh, and then we also have to look at North-South developing post-industrialized uh, there's, that's the challenge, is how do we, uh, what, for example, someone like me talks about uh, curbing greenhouse gas emissions, um, that's a very different discussion here in India, uh, and we have to listen and engage in that discussion here on very different terms, but we need to have that discussion. What are the biggest challenges for you, I mean, bringing all these various cultures together? Mm -hmm. I think building the trust, and so what, what I think is powerful about the Melton Foundation and why I'm so passionate about it is we start with people who are, who are young, they're college students, they're 19, 20 years old, and they have their really a lot of their coming of age experiences together uh, across these cultures. Culture. So they're spending a lot of time together, they're getting to know each other and building that trust. Uh, so the number one challenge for us is enabling the opportunities for them to develop that trust and then sustaining the network so that it's not one-off. They get together when they're 19 years old, they get together when they're 30 years old, when they're 40 years old, and they, uh, they know each other. And, and, and that allows uh, a comfort zone to be able to discuss these challenges and to be able to collaborate to address them from those multiple viewpoints. So what, what we say is global citizenship is a means for people to be able to collaborate across boundaries to address today's global challenges. So it's not from a Western vantage point, it's not out of Washington DC or London uh, or even out of Beijing. It's uh, multiple vantage points um, to come up with a a much more global perspective on how we're going to solve these problems. So, my very last question would be, what is your personal greatest takeaway from, from your work at Melton Foundation? Oh, great. Um, that, I'm very optimistic. I really think if we can uh, improve communications and um, do it really on a people-to-people -people level, um, on a larger scale, that uh, it is possible to come up with the kinds of entrepreneurial ideas and practices uh, to address the challenges. Um, so I'm, I'm actually op optimism out of this. It's not an abstraction. I know, I know it's possible to, to achieve great things if you bring people together. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.